In light of government's call for citizens to wear facial masks in public, the Syrian Lebanese Women's Association has decided to help in flattening the curve by sewing and distributing masks to members of the public. Cameraman Rajnat Lal spoke with Joanna Mute as Charlie Lewis reports. For Joanna Mute, assisting during this COVID-19 pandemic is important to her, and by her initiative of sewing and distributing cloth masks to medical professionals and citizens is one way of helping to ease the burden on the government. Many companies and fashion houses around the world were stepping out of their comfort zone and making hand sanitizer, scrubs, masks and ventilators. And I thought, you know, this is something that we could accomplish here in Trinidad. Our government so far has been extremely proactive in all their initiatives. And I thought, you know, this is something that we can do to be proactive and to help the situation. But she said the initiative would not have been possible without the assistance of some key private business people. Genuras, I have three star sportswear limited and Norman Elias Industries Limited um, all agreed to reopen their factories and start producing for the government and they'll receive a special pass for the government because now they are an essential service. The facial mask Mrs. Mute said, is also very comfortable. So it's two layers of fabric and then an inside layer of uh, barrier, which we used Pelham, which is a fabric stiffener. So it gives the mask some body, but it also gives an extra layer of protection. On Monday, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said all citizens are to wear a facial mask when going out in public. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Roshan Pasram has also encouraged members of the public to use the cloth mask instead of the N95, which he said is used mainly by health workers. Sherilyn Lewis, TTT News.